Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the populating next right pointers in each node problem. You are given a perfect binary tree where all leaves are on the same level, and every parent has two children. The binary tree has the following definition. As you can see, class node, it has an integer value of pointing to node left, pointing to node right, pointing to node next. It has a default constructor and also an overloaded constructor to initialize all the member variables, all the instance variables. Populate each next pointer to point to its next right node. If there is no next right node, the next pointer should be set to null. Initially, all next pointers are set to null. So here they give you an example. This is the input tree, and this is the output. As you can see, what they want you to do is to set the next pointer to point to its next right node. So the two that next points to the three. The four that next points to five, five that next points to six, six that next points to seven. And because, for instance, one is the last node at this level, it doesn't have a next right node, so it points to null. And three is the last node at this level, it doesn't have a next right node, so it points to null. And seven is the last node at this level, so it doesn't have a right node, so it points to null. So how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem recursively or iteratively. In this video, I'll teach you how to solve this problem iteratively. So we can have a pointer um, initialized at the first node of every level. And then what we do is that from this level, for example, we can fix the links for all the children of this node, for example. So we can fix the link of the two that next to point to a three. And then when we're done with this level, we can move down here at the first node of this, of this level here. And then from here, we can fix the link of four. We can say that four that next points to five. And then we can say that five that next points to six. And then we move to the three and we can say six that next points to seven. And notice that this is a special case for the last node of every level because the last node of every level doesn't have a next right node. We don't have to set the next pointer to point to any node. It will stay null. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to write the code. First, I'm gonna have a pointer to node, I will call this the left node. It's going to point to what the root is pointing to. So initialized to point at the root. And then I will say while left node is not equal to null and left node that left is not equal to null. So I have these two conditions because as you can see, uh, if I'm at this node, I want to fix the links for the level below. So I want to make sure that there is a level below. So that's why I have left node that left has to be pointing to a node because there has to be a level below. So I will have a helper method populate lower level and I will pass the left node. And once this method fixes all the next pointers of that level below, then I can move down I can move the left node pointer down to this level to continue the process. And I will move it by saying left node gets a value of left node that left. So as you can see, I always want to start at the first node in every level. So by keeping this pointer, I can just say left node gets a value of left node that left, and that's gonna move it down to the to the first node of this level. And then I do it again and it's going, to, it's going to move it down to the first node of the next level. So at the end I just return the root. Now I will just write the code for the helper method. It's going to be a private void um, populate lower level. It's going to take a pointer to node, the start node. Alright, so with this helper method I will have just for clarity, I will have a pointer to node eater points to what the start node is pointing to. And then I will say while 
ether is not equal to null. So ether is going to start at the first node of every level and it's going to keep moving to the right. And by moving to the right, every time I will use ether to fix the next pointer of the children of every node. For instance, if I'm at this level, ether will start here and once it fixes the links for, for 4 and the next pointer for 5, it will move here to fix the next pointer for 6. So I will say every time ether gets a value of ether.next. Alright, just to keep moving it to the right. So ether, for example, if ether is here, I will say ether.left.next points to what ether.right is pointing to. That will make the connection from 2 to 3, for example. So ether that left that next points to what ether that right is pointing to. Okay. Then I have to handle the special case. If I if I know that I'm dealing with the last node of this level, for example, then I don't want to fix the link for the right node because there's no next right node for this node. So I need to check that. I will say if ether that next is not equal to null, then that means that there's something after this node because it is not null, it is pointing to a node. So this is not the last node, so this is good. This is good to go. For example, I'm here, so ether.next is not equal to null. So I can actually fix the next pointer of this node. So I can say ether.right.next, ether.right.next points to what? points to what ether that next that left is pointing to ether that left that ether that next that left all right so this should do it I'm gonna run the code it seems to be working fine I'm gonna submit a solution all right this is working perfectly so if you like this video, please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time!